What's going on everybody? It's Bill. Welcome back to another episode of the Winter Series. Today's episode is a real review. Stay tuned. As I mentioned before the intro, today's episode is a real review and the reel we're going to be reviewing is the Daiwa Fuego CT. This is my workhorse reel. This is the reel that I have paired with my 7'3 mag heavy rod. It's pulled with 65 pound braid. There's also a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader on here right now, which I do remove and you know then replace um, depending on where I'm fishing, what I'm fishing, and how I'm fishing it. This was my very first Daiwa reel. I got it about a year ago. Um, and I'm basically going to go over its basic features. I'm going to leave the Daiwa product page linked down below. This is not a sponsored video. Just in case um, I miss something, just in case you're interested, just in case you want to read more. Basically, for a, I believe it retails between $80 and $100. Um, for an $80 reel, it's absolutely phenomenal. It's got an aluminum frame, so it's extremely sturdy. It's not likely to bend or torque, um, even if you're in the heaviest of cover. It's got the MagForce Z braking system, so basically the spool starts faster, spins longer, and then can still stop on a dime if you need it to. Basically, there's a little inductor cup as you cast. Um, the inductor cup is retracted from the spool, so there's no magnetic force slowing that spool down until it needs to. The centrifugal force keeps it open, um, and then the inductor cup will slowly go back in and slow that spool, making it almost impossible to backlash this reel. Um, and for something that's not a DC reel or a digital control reel, that's absolutely phenomenal. I think I've backlashed this reel maybe once or twice, um, and it was 100% on me. I was throwing a heavy flipping setup, and then I cut it and put a hollow body frog on without adjusting the tension knob. Um, and you know, I, but it's braid, so you can pick it out and keep going. It's got 13.2 pounds of drag. Um, it's got the UTD, the Ultimate Tournament Carbon Drag System. So basically, they're oversized carbon washers inside the drag system. So you can cinch this baby down, and you can get into the heavy cover. Um, you can get into the pads. You can get into the muck. If you're flipping, you can get into the you know heavy laydowns, and you're going to be able to winch that fish out, especially if you got it paired with a longer rod. It extremely light it comes in i believe it a little over 7.6 or 7.5 ounces it's got i believe it's a 90 millimeter handle um it is cut out so that you know it reduces the weight a little bit it does not have the t-wing system i did not need the t-wing system which is why i ended up going with this reel but basically the regular line guide is perfect for what i was using it for and what i do use it for um and it allows the leader knot so whether it's a you know double uni or um the alberta albright whatever you want to call it um, not to pass more cleanly through and back onto the spool this comes in three different gear ratios this one is the eight to one gear ratio so it picks up 33.9 inches of line per turn it also comes in uh, 6.3 to 1, 7.3 to 1. Um, so you do have the option of picking up this reel if you wanted to use it for something like cranking or Texas rigs and smaller jigs. However, I you know I knew that I wanted something with an extremely fast gear ratio um, for you know when you know I'm fan casting with a frog. I want to you know be able to get out of the target zone and then back in as quickly as possible and that 8.1 to 1 gear ratio allows that to happen it's got these rubber handles or grips rather um it's not eva foam or anything like that in my opinion it's a little bit better than the eva foam i've i've fished one reel with with the foam on the reel handle um and after a few casts it just felt like it was wet and soggy it just wasn't for me um so none of my reels now have that as far as line capacity goes um, it'll hold at 12 pounds, it'll hold 150 yards, and at 14 pounds, it'll hold 120 yards. So I'm not sure what that equates to as far as braid goes. I know it holds a decent amount. I can get out there and I can bomb something, um, like a, you know, a whopper plopper, and still have more than half of my line left on the spool. Lastly, I mean, it's got, um, you know, infinite anti-reverse. It's not going anywhere. Most bait casters these days 
have that. Overall, for an $80 reel to have all of these features, it's just phenomenal. There are other reels on the market for this price point or a little bit higher than this, like a Shimano Casitas or maybe a couple Lose reels um, You know that don't. They've got graphite frames. They've got, you know, lower drag rate, you know, drag um, poundage. They've, you know, some of them don't even come in an 8 to 1 gear ratio. But the Daiwa Fuego does. And basically what that all factors out to is this. There it goes. Look at you, buddy. All right, let's, uh, God. Oh my gosh, that's a new PB. God. There it goes. 4.15. Now this is not a sponsored video. I have no affiliation with Daiwa whatsoever. I just believe in their reels. And ask anybody on you know the Reddit Discord, I was extremely reluctant. And I'm so glad that I let them talk me into this reel. I'm gonna leave the product page down below. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out. I'll answer them the best I can. However, I am no expert. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up down below, follow me over on Instagram, and I'll catch you guys on the next Winter Series episode.